Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon and welcome back to RuneScape. So we're gonna finish off Rag and Bone Man. And I need to fight off a few skeletal wyverns here to get one of their... Do I need a... Dragonfire Shield for a skeletal wyvern? I don't know. I need three dragon... or three dragon tail bones to finish this off. So, we're gonna do that. Oh, these aren't super powerful. Um... I thought that they were much stronger than this. Oh well. That's not a huge deal. And... You are... Uh, I, I don't know how many of these I'm gonna have to fight. I may have to fight a handful of them also. Because I just need to get one tailbone, but they don't- that's not a 100% drop rate. Wyvern bones. Interesting. Are they worth a lot? They- oh my god! They are worth a lot! Holy crap! Alright. I'll fight one of these- I'll fight several of these guys. Hold on, let me, uh, slam down on this thing. Perfect. And, do I need- do I even need this shield to fight these guys with? Can I just- Oh, no, I do. Holy crap. Uh, alright. Let me heal up again. How much are sharks worth? 800? <laughs> this is a totally- this is totally worth the payout. Um, do wyvern bones actually give you that much experience if you bury one? Alright, I just need your tailbone, please. I've been frozen? I mean, I'm not really- it's not really a problem. And one more hit. There we go. Oh, I need... I need that bone, please. Let me just put the bolts away. I may have to... Oh. What's down there? Do I even want to go down there? I kind of want to go down there. That might be a bad idea. <laughs> Alright. Let's take out this one. Big slam attack. One more hit. There we go. Aha! There it is. That's the bone I need. How much do... Yeah, how much do skeletal wyvern bones go... Or... Alright, so now I need to go to the Brimhaven dungeon. And the Taverly dungeon. Um... Brimhaven dungeon. Is that... Wait, is that correct? Which one's the Brimhaven dungeon? Okay, let's go with the red one first because they're weaker. Because they're only level 80-something. Um... Brimhaven du Oh, the Brimhaven dungeon. That's the one out here. That's right. I completely forgot about that. Wait, was that the red dragons? Yeah, okay. Red dragons go here. I will fight them. Pay to enter the dungeon. And I only need to come in here to get one bone. There we go. Uh, I don't know where they're at in here. I should probably check that now that I think about it. I could probably check the world map here. Red dragons. There they are. I know where that's at. Uh, I used to- I come down here every so often to do slayer tasks. Uh, and I don't really pay attention- most of the time I get bronze dragons. Or steel dragons or iron dragons or something. Whatever it is. Oh, what is that over there? On the map, there's a room over there. Huh. I wonder what that is. Alright, and then I need to go across here. Wild dogs. This is the fire giant room. And then I go up over here. Oh, it's this one. Here we go. Did he just... 
Oh, no. I was gonna say, did he just stop me? I got- Ah! Okay, it leads over here. Got it. Alright. And let's kill a red dragon. I probably need to kill four or five of them, actually. But these guys shouldn't do as much damage as the, uh... As the other ones. So I should be able to take them out pretty pretty easy. The black dragons, I may need to bring some more stuff with. Oh my god, I got it in one shot. Fantastic. Dragon bones aren't that expensive, are they? Yeah, they're not. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna bury that. <laughs> All right, and now I can go to Taverly. I. Why did I think that I was completely done with this? Maybe, maybe because of the way that the the quest list had it set out. I thought I had three. I thought I had all the tailbones that I needed, but I guess I was wrong. All right. Yeah. Hold on. Let me let me see how much. Um, uh, wyvern bones. How much, how much do they give me? 50 prayer experience. Um, ground up into bone meal, ectofunctus. Used to make super prayer potions. Oh, okay. That's probably why people buy them. Okay. Uh, let's put all this away. Do I have a space for a super attack potion in here somewhere? Uh, all my potions are here. Super attack. I might as well decant this into that one. There we go. And then... Remove that placeholder. Let's grab a few more sharks. Uh, let's just grab ten of those. Because I've never fought a black dragon before. All right. And there should be one in here somewhere. Here we go. The last of the dragons that I need. And then we'll run over to the place, go grab the, the three logs we need, grab the three buckets of uh, stuff. So the there's the black, dra the black demons, and the hellhounds are over there. Where's my... Oh, it's literally right next to... The Oh, wait, can I go across this one now? Jump over strange floor. I don't know if I can do this one yet. Can I? I can! Oh, nice. Uh, oh crap, there's poison spiders here. Let's, uh, I'm gonna take that charm. Now that I think about it, I don't actually know where the dragons are. Blue dragons. Drum and, oh, black, black demons. Black dragons. Okay, so it's like a cross over this direction. I'd rather not get poisoned, but... So they're down this way. Whoa, what is that? Oh, this is the fire obelisk. Are the dragons not aggressive to me? Alright, that's nice. So this is where you go to make uh, fire battle staffs. Hopefully I get super lucky and only have to fight one of these. Wow, I did- it did like no damage to me. Uh, also, no such luck. I do have to fight more of them. Uh, let's do it like this. Is it seriously not gonna do a whole lot of damage? Those skeletal wyverns do a ton of damage. And you are dead. Fantastic. Dr uh, nope. Let me dismantle that real quick. And let's see. Are we going to get one more shot here? We're getting pretty close. So these are the last few that I need. Okay. Last one. The last one. We, we're gonna get it. La last one. I may have to, uh, I may have to eat one shark. Actually, I don't- if, if this is the last one, I won't have to eat one shark. 
Did that do nothing? That did nothing. Great. That did nothing. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to do nothing. And take it down. You are dead. De dead? Dead. You're dead. There, you're dead. Fantastic. Hey, I got it. Awesome. So now let's teleport over to... Let's teleport over to Drainer. So I need to get all three of these put in vinegar. And then we're going to finish off this quest. Or this mini side quest thing. I know this is a achie an achievement that I need to do to finish this off too, so... I guess that's also a thing we're doing real quick. Um, I'm just going to put these away. And then we're going to go see the old Rag and Bone Man. And then have that all done. Okay. I have no idea what he's doing with these bones, but he's very clearly not with the, uh... He's very clearly not with the, 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 who he says he is. I only need three of those. Trade for Fortunato. Buy three of these. Use Jug of Vinegar there. Oh, I can do all three of them. Nice. There we go. That's all I need there. Let's throw these in the bank. And then catch this Earth Impling that I saw flying around back over there. Give it to me. Come on. Yeah. Earth Talisman. Not that I particularly need that. All right. Let's go back and teleport over to Varrock. And then I can go over there, give them the last three of these. I I was expecting to uh, I was expecting to be able to finish this before, but you know, things aren't always what they seem. Oh, I can put my I can put my sword back on too. My well, my hammer. I also need to chop down a, ca a handful of trees here. Uh, I'm just gonna run through town, go to the bank, and put away my dragon fire shield, and then. We'll chop down a couple more trees on the other side. Or I can chop down trees here. I totally forgot that there were some in the middle of town. There we go. Chop down trees. And that should be everything that I need. And then I just have to kind of sit there at that pot for a few minutes. Max. Wait, isn't that the, uh, that's the NPC, Max. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that, uh... He's mastered many skills of RuneScape. Nice. I didn't realize he was kind of wandering around over here. Oh, baby impling. Give me that. Fantastic. Bucket of milk. That's always good for whatever. I've actually had quite a few quests that I've needed buckets of milk for. So that actually works out really well. Any other implings in over here that want to get... Want to get s s caught up by me? No? Okay. Let's go to this guy's old thing and we will have this all finished. Pot boiler. Okay, here we go. Add the pot. See, I did all this stuff with all the rest of my bones, thinking that I had them all finished, and that I wouldn't have to do any more of this on camera. But it is what it is, I guess. I was hoping, uh, I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this. <laughs> oh, is there a teleport that leads here? Huh. Oh, I wonder if that's what you get for finishing this getting a teleport that leads to this location. I do not know. So this should be everything that I need for this boat. Or for this boat. Why did I think it was, why did I say boat? Th this everything should I need for this wish, wish lists. Is that done? Oh, I didn't light it. 
I am dumb. Oh, I'm taking longer here than I have to. There we go. I like how there's just like a piece of a horn sticking out or something. Oh, remove bone. Okay, last one. There. Add the pot. And set it on fire. Light it. No, 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 don't attack that. Light the... Light the thing. Okay. There we go. We did it. We have all of them now. Or at least, at least we should. And... Done. Fantastic. Alright, Mr. Old Man. Uh, I have some bones for you. Great, let's take a look at them. That covers everything I was searching for. You finally completed my collection. Well, I'm glad to have furthered the ca cause of the museum. Just hope everyone will enjoy the finished displays. I'm sure everyone will get a chance to enjoy my work. Starting with you, you've been so helpful. You can be the first to see the finished exhibit. <laughs> okay. Maybe up those stairs just east of my shack. It's when you're ready to take a look at the best reconstruct reconstituted skeleton you've ever seen. Oh, yes, now is your time. Just give give me the time to hold you up there. What? Nothing. Just in case something goes bad up there, bring some protection and food, you never know. Okay. So there's a boss fight involved. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh! Oh, hold on. I think I know what this boss fight is. Is this the, um, the, uh, the, the skeletal horror? I've heard, I've heard about that. I've just never fought it, and I didn't know where to fight it. I wonder if that's what this is. That'll be interesting. So I guess we're gonna get a couple of extra weird boss fights today. Well, one was the last episode, but you get my drift. Oh, wait, hold on. The gourmet impling. Give me. Give me. Give me, give me, give me. You can give me some food, actually. That'd be great. I guess I'm gonna go <laughs> get those sharks that I had. There we go. Tuna. Fantastic. Let's open that door. Ever open the door, get on the floor. I'm not gonna bring this tuna with me. I have tons of tuna in the bank. I can just bring the sharks. Okay. Yep, there we go. The tuna. Let's put these pots away. Put the bucket of milk away. And we're going to grab... Uh, just a bunch of sharks. Let's grab 15 sharks. Yeah, let's grab 20 sharks. Um, I don't know... Oh, wait, whoops. Uh, I don't know how much... I don't know how much I need for this. I don't know if this is going to be like a super difficult fight or or what. I know nothing about this fight other than the name of the thing. <clears throat> Alright. But this is one less long-term thing that I need to think about while we're playing also. Which is nice. Oh, the music cut out. Now we're into more somber music. So I guess this this little platform right here must be where the uh, the fight takes place. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Climb over bone style. You sure you <laughs> you have a deep sense of foreboding? Are you sure want to enter? Yes. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, it's only level 91. Ah, oh, what a relief to finally have that weight of the thing off my back. Behold, the reconstituted skeleton of an ancient horror. Notice how it's how white its bones are. Fascinating, isn't it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think the exhibit has become hostile. Exhibit A. All right, this may not be as difficult as of a fight as I thought it would be. It does have a lot of health, though. 48,000 health. But a lot of that shit's gonna... I guess I guess it would be just whittling down my health. Ooh, it can hit for like a thousand damage. Oh, I guess that's why I brought all my sharks with me. 
and do big slam. There we go. Uh, let's do this. And I'm gonna heal up. I'm glad I brought all my sharks with me. I'm not gonna fail on this boss fight like I did the others. Oh, geez, it's hitting more than a thousand points. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, what is it doing? Oh, pick up right hand. Uh, oh, it regained some health. Oh! Oh, when it's- when pieces of it fall off, I have to go collect them before- oh, damn. Uh, this may be bad. Okay. Pick up their hand. Okay. Berry arm. Aha! Okay, cool. I- I understand the boss fight now. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this. Cool. Is it gonna lose another arm? It did. Okay, left hand. Bury the left hand. Okay, cool. Let's eat two more sharks. Okay, I now completely understand what I'm doing. I should be able to take it out. Okay, now I can do big slam attack. Uh, the big slam did like nothing. Okay. Oh. Okay, the tail. <laughs> now it can really only head bash me now. Yeah, it can only head bash. I wonder if that's the strongest the heck it has, though. Alright, let's eat one more. That should be enough to... That should be enough. To... I should be able to kill it now. Oh, wait. No, it's still doing tons of damage. Alright. Big, big slam. Okay, we got this. And I did it. Defeat- Claim the elite clue scroll by defeating the skeletal horde- Ah, horror. Cool, I did it! Decaying journal. Talk to the old man. You've done it! Finally, I'm free! What was that thing? It's a bit windy here. Meet me downstairs and I'll explain everything to you. Okay. Fantastic. I defeated a, an optional boss fight. Skeletrail trail horror. Nice. All right. Uh, fur and seek. Ah, thank you for helping me. You've done it, finally, I'm free. What was that thing? It's a very long story, but to sum it up, it started as an archeological expedition and ended up with me carrying the remains of an all powerful undead mind controlling skeletal horror over a decade. I've probably left my old expedition diary somewhere around here. It will remember of it, more of it than me. You know, I can still feel the bone sack presence as if it's even it, as it, as if even destroyed, it still has enough power to charm a feeble mind into digging it out and rebuilding it. It's fascinating, and if only, I'm rambling like an old madman. I need to thank you. Let me give you an enchanted ram skull helm. As usual, just ask me if you'd rather have a bone sack. Oh, interesting. Ram Skull Helm E. What does that mean? Enchanted? Slayer and Prayer Experience. Fantastic. Ig oh, this teleport. Teleport to the Skeletal Horror once a week. Ah, I see. I wonder if that's how that guy got here. Read the King Journal. Blood is the gift. Blood is the price. So demands Tezcathala. His price for rising up the Manwu above the lesser species. The apes and monkeys that infest the jungles are German. The lesser species that live to serve, those are bred to die for our food and our amusement. This is the this is the way of things, the righteousness of Manwu for as like him but us. In the beginning there was only darkness, a shadow in which only Tezcasala sat. As time moved forwards, the stars came to light and illuminate the darkness, and they cast their dim light over the newly born world of German. Our world. Intrigued by this new world, Tezcatha, Tezcasatha, Tathla, turned his attention to the surface. His great burning eyes plunging the world into brilliant light. But the world was still, empty, the jungle silent and devoid of life. This border, Tezcatha, 
Tezcasathla. And so he reached his hand across the world and pricked a finger upon a mountain. His blood flowed down the surface and mixed with the stone in the trees. The blood infused the dirt with strength and purpose. And so the stone took form and the first of the Manwu was born. Strong as a stone, and he stood proud and defiant against the fiery stare of Tezcathala. He was not afraid, and this pleased Tezcathala. I am Manwu, cried the first of us, strongest in all of German. Prove it, whispered the stars. So Tezcathala crafted the other races, the monkeys, the apes, and gorillas, and gave them each a single command, survive. To Manwu, the first of his children, he gave the first spears and axes. He gave upon each of them a decree, prove your strength. Prove it with the blood of your enemies, for I am not sated. You will, you are not worthy. I will take back my gift of blood from you, and you will die. This is the foundation upon which our society was born, Manwu taking their rightful place as the rulers of German. The blood sacrifices of other races would keep Tezcathala's hunger at bay. It was a glorious time. Interesting. Damp journal that appears to be rotting away. I wonder if that's got more plot significance than what I think it does. Alright. Well, now we can go back to Edgeville. We've got ourselves a new hat. We've got ourselves a new clue scroll, which I have I have several of them just kind of sitting in my bank. Um I did one time do like a I did at one time do like a um a really long uh qu uh I did a I did a really long uh, live stream, and I just did a bunch of clue scrolls in it. I might do that again sometime. Uh, yeah, I've got tons of clue scrolls. Let's put the sharks away. I can put that away, put that away. Oh, I don't have a red dragon hide space? Oh, I guess I don't. Interesting. I'm very surprised at that. I guess I've never actually fought one before. Uh, let me reorganize this a little bit. And there we go. Okay. So, what is next? Contact is next. That's right. Contact. Talk to the High Priest of Ichthlorain in the South Temple of Sophonim. And required light source. That is not what I meant to do. I did not want to bam them. Um, light sources. They're all right here. They're all right here. There we go. And soften him. That's down here. Where's the fastest? Okay, where's the fastest way to get to soften him? Ah, soften him. Okay, so I just need to go here to the here. I wonder if I can just walk across that. I might be able to just walk across those. I do not know. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Oh, oh, oh. Fantastic. Alright. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna do one or two more quests in this recording set. Go to soften them. There we go. And then I think I'll... I, I've only got a few more days before... Move along, there's no passage this way. Oh wait, can I can I use my ring of whatever? You know what? I'm just gonna go around. That's fine. At some point, I have assu I'm assuming that we're gonna get pass gain passage through there. That's a fountain. It's the coolest ass fountain in the whole game. The shifting tombs. All right. Let's run over to soften him. I'm not gonna need any. Uh, I'm not gonna need any any anything here can I oh that's a rug dude I was gonna say can I just go across the river right here I cannot let's go around this way I guess I have to I have to go all the way up to that bridge it needs to load in so I can click over there there we go now I can load what is the floating stuff over there Fantastic. And the TARDIS. <laughs> That's still really funny. Terraforming Arctic refrigeration. Uh, dispersing ice spreader groovy. <laughs> 
Oh, there's just bones here. Cool. All right, time to enter Sophenum. Oh, is that the top of that pyramid there? That's the pyramid plunder pyramid, isn't it? Enter gate. There we go. And I need to talk to... Who do I need to talk to? Set active. The high priest. Okay. Oh, that's right. There's like... Slave people here. I guess you're in this temple up here. Fantastic. Nati. <laughs> It's interesting how dilapidated this looks compared to everything over there, which looks like new and nice. Okay, what do we got for me? The priest, priest, high priest. There we go. Good day, polarized moon. Hello there. How goes the fight for Clenter's soul? It never ends. As soon as I think we have won, the devourer catches us off guard again. Wish I could. I wish you luck in your attempts. Likewise, polarized moon, in your adventures. What plans do you have for the future of the town? You have proved that the plagues aren't contagious, so we must try to lift the quarantine that Menaphos has opposed on us. So what are you going to do? Don't have a clue. I've already tried to meet with them and they have rebuted in a most unpleasant fashion. Perhaps I could help? Wait, I have a feeling this could prove a somewhat hazardous quest for you and I'm not sure where you would start. However, if you are happy dealing with our woes, we would of course be grateful. Accept quest. Sounds like a quest for me. I can't turn that down. I'm glad you want to help, but how exactly to continue, I do not know. You mentioned earlier that you rebuffed in unpleasant fashion. What happened? I led a de delegation across the bridge that we are allowed no further. Oh, flashback cutscene. I wish I could remove that. Greetings, Cornus. Halt! Don't take another step. That is an improper greeting. You accept- uh, you address the High Priest of Victorine. Don't try my patience. I have an order to prevent anyone from crossing this bridge. You will let us pass. We are not contagious. Step back or we will open fire. You wouldn't dare. Archers, take your mark. You wouldn't. Take aim. Run! Fire! The High Priest tells his story. Fantastic. That Conus is a cold-blooded thug. <clears throat> the Menophites are led by a more secular ruler than I would like. Respect for the old ways is diminishing. Why don't you need- why do you need Menophos to lift the quarantine? You have control over your own gates and with the magic carpets based outside the city. You could create new trade links with some of the other desert towns to replace Menaphos. That would solve part of our problem, but a large number of our townsfolk are, Mena are in Menaphos. We must get word to them that it is safe to return. I have permission to enter Menaphos. I could tell someone. I doubt anyone who would change things would listen. Even if you can get into Menaphos, our townsfolk aren't being allowed to leave. Um. Oh, there's a lot of questions here. Uh, is there any way between Menaphos and Sophonim from below? I have the light source. Maybe that's what I need to talk about. None that I know of. If there was, it would probably be guarded. So there aren't any secret tunnels under this city. No, all Tumekin's children and their followers revel in the light these days. Who's Tumekin? Is the husband? He is the husband of Elodinus, father of both Iclarine and the Devourer, the head of the Pantheon of Gods. You said these days. Well, the followers of the Devourer shunned the light, but all her temples have been destroyed. Though there was also the set of Scabaris. Who? The sect of Scabaris is a cult dedicated to the lesser deity, Scabaris. What's a lesser deity? The Book of the Light and Day says that Tumekin once fell into a deep sleep and dreamt of four days and four nights. The first night he slept and dreamt of a good dream. He dreamt of a journey long and arduous. From the loins of his subconscious, Ap Mekin was born into reality, one physical manifestation of his dream. Tumekin continued to have pleasant dreams for a further two days and two nights. After each, a new deity came into being. On the fourth night, however, Tumekin dreamt a bad dream. 
He dreamt of himself, and he dreamt of his increasing isolation caused by his extended sleep. This isolation sprung forth into the world and took the form of Scapanus. Okay, so you could have said a dream or something. Where where were we? Yes, the fellows of Scabarus used to be a great architects in subterranean. According to legend, they once planned to build a passage under the river Elide. No doubt Eldenish smote them, because none of the followers were ever seen again. That sounds interesting. Do you do they have any altars or temples left in the city? Yes, there is a shrine dedicated to Scabarus in the Temple of the Lesser Gods of the northeast of the, north, northeast of the city. I cannot read. I might check it out. In that case, be sure to talk to Jex. He looks after the building and can tell you about the place. Okay, who and where is Jex? Priest, priest, priest. Uh, no. All right, Temple of... I wonder if I can see it here on the... No, I cannot. I guess it's one of these built. Uh, maybe it's this temple up here. Maybe that building. There, there does seem to be a square there. Maybe there's a, uh, maybe there's a ladder down or something. We will see. Let's see. Let's go. I'm assuming this is the temple of the lesser gods. Oh, excuse me. Or maybe this is. Wait, did it say Pyramid Plunder? Anonymous looking door. Um, this is a shrine. Jex. Yeah, here we, here we go. Hello, Jex. What can I do for you? High Priest mentioned that you know all about the Temple of the Lesser Gods. I know bits and pieces about its history. I helped maintain the place and even... Held services until recently. Please excuse its starry state. Well, what happened to the place? Oh, hold on. Spy on Cactus. Let's do that real quick. Yay. Uh, tell me about the temple. Sorry, state. Some strange skeletal creatures burst up from the cellars a few months ago. We fought them back into some kind of dungeon, but in doing so, the temple and the bank beneath were devastated. I'd like to have a look. I wouldn't. If I were you, it's incredibly dangerous down there. We've lost far too many townsfolk already who underestimate the dangers. There are some fearsome traps and vicious monsters lurking in the darkness. Try investigating tunnels under the city that were by the high priest. If you must, then I just blow the blessing of Victorine and the minor deities upon you. Climb down the ladder in the corner of the temple. This will leave you in the wrecked, ba wrecked, wrecked bank. We post a number of guards there to hold back the scarab monsters. There's a barricaded trap door there that is a little, is a little complicated to open. Tells me how to open the trap door. Thanks, Jex. You've been a great help. It's dark down there. You should. Oh, whoops. I accidentally. I have. I have a bullseye lantern though, so I should be good. Looks the old bank. So there's a. Oh, that trap door is it literally right next to the ladder. Oh. Be careful down there. You enter the trap door once more, using the trick that Jex described. You close it after you descend. Alright, we've got... Oh, Jesus. Scarab Mage. Oh, damn. Okay, I guess I have to physically try to get around all this stuff now. And we've got a Scarab Mage to kill. Oh, that is so weird. Oh, I got some bass. There we go. Um, there's a ladder down. Which, um, locust rider. Okay, I'm gonna try to go through here and try to find the way with no traps. That might be what we're looking for. I'm assuming I'm trying to get to the far corner. So like off that way. I might be completely wrong though. All right. Um, actually that is about all the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you like the episode. Whoa, I can actually see down. Whoa. Um, but that's about all the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you like the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night, and I'm going to try to get to that corner over there tomorrow. Bye-bye!